Welcome back to the Bass Bros Reaction Series. I'm joined with Matthew Nguyen, and today we're going to be watching the trailer for James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. Uh, this is no A or cut like we've been rooting <laughs> for, but, uh, you know, I am a big fan of James Gunn. Uh, I'm a big fan of his work. Um, and when he, the whole situation, you know, there was a whole, you know, we all know the whole marvel situation but since then he's back at marvel and will be on guardians of the galaxy volume three but the guardians of the galaxy hold a special place in my heart um the suicide squad do not <laughs> um but that isn't to say that that's a bad thing i just mean that i look forward to what he does you know in terms of those characters because um despite how whatever i don't know how you feel matt about uh the suicide squad that got released a couple years ago uh, I, I personally felt that it was underwhelming. Um, I don't really know quite how to feel about it. Uh, it's not, it's probably one of my least favorite DCEU films. Um, but I don't hate it with a passion. Uh, not like Justice League, you know, <laughs> uh, but how, how about you? How are you feeling about this? No, I'm a huge fan of the movie. No, I imagine. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm agree with you. I thought that was very disappointing. I thought uh, it just everything kind of fell off about the movie, and and like everything from plot beats to the characters, the fact that it felt rushed. Uh, you know, it wasn't as vibrant of a movie as you'd expect from all the uh, marketing that it did. Mm -hmm. uh, and it it wasn't even supposed to be vibrant and everything. Like that was just like yeah. a studio mandate all of a sudden after the bohemian rhapsody trailer so it's crazy to think all of that but you know with james gunn i've heard he had a lot of creative freedom with this um there are a lot of actors a lot of people in here that i'm really looking forward to see so we're gonna hop right into this um if you guys are interested please check out our snyder cut review as well as our captain america and winter soldier reactions and wandavision stuff if you're interested we have tons of cool stuff on the channel we upload pretty much every week at least one video every week this past couple weeks have been busy and there have been multiple videos at a time but uh typically one video per week follow us on TikTok. follow us on our instagram uh, everything is going to be linked in the description below and in our channel. So check out patreon.com slash Bass Bros. And without further ado, let's watch this. Let's go, guys. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. Oh, John Cena right away. You just album. Yeah. The heck? Oh. No funny business, Colonel. Wow. <laughs> what? You, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? Mm -hmm. Really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can see. <laughs> That's I'm so sorry. Harley Quinn. Love school. <laughs> the comedy's already significantly better. Wow. You know the deal? Really different. Whoa! Oh, it's Pete Davidson. Crocs. <laughs> oh. I need us to can do it. Can I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull? Can do the job. So this is the famous suicide squad. Yes! Oh, <laughs> oh Pibs, uh, what's it called? Nom, nom. Brand placement? Oh, King Shark. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Any questions? Pokemon, oh, man. That is your hand. Very good. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, <laughs> Here's the deal. We fail the mission. You die. If we find out any information you give us is false. It's Peter Capaldi. Find out <gasps> the personalized license plates. You die. What? No. If you cough without covering your mouth. Harley, although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth. <laughs> What's the plan? COVID era, very uh. Supposed to be decisive. You know, I decided that you should eat a big bag of dicks. If this whole beach was completely covered in dicks, if somebody said I'd eat every dick until the beach was clean for liberty, I would say no problem. Why would they do what they do? <laughs> <laughs> it's already like brighter than the last one. This is suicide. Whoa! Oh, that's kind of our thing. What's the rating on this? Is it art? I think so. Are you worried when they get you out of real life? I'm going to get 
you out of here alone. It's Starro! Oh shit. <laughs> you have that gigantic class. Wow. That was so different than the what they have done. Yeah, than what the original one was. Like. I think that's more in tone with what we thought the original one was going to be. Yeah, I liked it, especially with, you know, the... Yeah, I think it's already funnier than the last one by a large margin. <laughs> Even if there's no more jokes, I think the jokes they already had in the trailer are funny enough. Um, they're showing, they're posing, I think, Cena, Margot Robbie, obviously, and Idris Elba as their leads, it looks like, for most of the movie. So I wonder if one of those three will die. Probably not Michael Robbie, but like either Cena uh, or, or, or just Alba. I don't know. I think uh, I know that John Cena is getting a Peacemaker show, so he's either this is that's either going to be a sequel show on its own, or that's going to be uh, a prequel and maybe he dies or something. Ultimately, um, uh, to I look, they're not going to kill Harley Quinn. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's their that's, yeah. that's their money right there. So it's like I, I I don't picture them getting rid of her anytime soon. But man, are you, are you kidding me? I, I'm really excited. Yeah, that was good. Uh, that was... It's very different than uh, what I was anticipating. The jokes seem like they're going to be so much dirtier. You know, like how he has like subtle, dirty jokes in Guardians of the Galaxy. But like in this, it seems like he's able to shoot a dicks to... on the beach. Yeah, like they like I, they would never talk about dicks on the beach in in, in uh, Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. So um, it was cool to see Michael Rooker, Amanda Waller. It's good to see her back. They they brought back the best of that movie, the original one, because um, we have Amanda Waller, Rick Flag, Captain Boomerang, and Harley Quinn. So that's like the what remains of like the original film. It's kind of a shame though that we don't get Will Smith back, I think. Will Smith isn't one of my favorite actors or anything, but you know, he's very, um, I, he was he was a big part of the last movie, you know, that you would think that he would be a part of this. Um, he was so good I wonder... in it too, so you're all the good things of the movie, he's one of them. But then, uh, That's true. Know, I don't yeah, think he, he wanted to either, so. Yeah, I feel like he was a little disappointed as well, kind of with what occurred, you know, um, yeah. because, it was the vision, you know, of uh, David Ayer, that his friend who was kind of messed up. So I, I could totally see that. Um, not that he would probably have anything against like James Gunn, but you know, like he would have something more so against Warner Brothers for what they did. So um, I'm trying to look through this trailer and just like see it shot by shot. Um, it It's definitely shot way differently than, um, than the last Suicide Squad was like, I noticed like all the stuff with Amanda Waller looks like it's shot like it's in an office room almost. Not like it's shot like the office, but you get what I mean. Yeah. Like hand, handheld, like like yeah. they're trying to do like a more grounded take on it. It's um, like significantly brighter. It is brighter. Like, it a lot looks... of stuff occurs during the daytime. Like for sure, the action sequence at the beginning, you know, with the set with Margot Robbie, like, mm -hmm. that would have been at night if it was the original Suicide Squad, if that was where they went with it. That's true. At night. This one is during the day. A lot of stuff takes place during the day. I think there's only one night scene I can think off the top of my head. That was the one with the walk through the forest with the dicks on the beach. <laughs> that yeah, I, pretty lined up with high explosion. I'm sure there will be night stuff, but you know, it's like naturally, it won't be like unnecessarily like at night, but then they try to crank it up to be vibrant because it'll yeah. change the tone, you know? Um, highlights of the trailer. I like King Shark already. Um, oh, King Shark's funny. I think he'll be good. He's really good in the Harley Quinn show, if you've ever watched yeah. that. I was very impressed with Cena. I was kind of worried with how he was going to go. I was like, what has he done? He did, like, Bumblebee. He did Fred the movie. He did Blockers. So uh, I was like... He's good in Bumblebee, though. He, like, was. he He wasn't bad in it. Like, even people who, like, don't typically like John Cena kind of were like, yeah, he wasn't, like, awful, but he wasn't, like, the 
the standout of that movie or anything. So yeah. I'm looking at this cast right now, and uh, there are some people that I didn't quite see. So I, I'm thinking the people. I think I know which people are gonna die, basically. Um, and as I look at this, it looks like we didn't really see who's that orange girl who's in the the wide shot of all of them. I don't yeah. think Nathan Fillion is making it out. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, was he in this? I was trying to look for him. Yeah, he's uh, he's in this. He's uh, he's in the wide shot. He's in the wide shot. It's most of the characters in that wide shot are the ones that I think are gonna die. Yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. I think the wide shot they might just blow it up. Like they'll have them walk out and then they'll just blow up and they all die. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I I think Weasel will live because that's his brother. But granted. Yondu did die in Guardians 2, so it's entirely possible that he dies. Um, but Pete Davidson, he wasn't very emphasized in this, but also- sure, um, A quick clip of him in the Crocs. Yeah, but there's only like a couple shots. And I mean, he could play a bigger role, but my thing is that uh, when you bring in a comedian like Pete Davidson, don't you bring him in more so for like a comedic death? or something yeah, like that like a cameo like, almost yeah and uh i feel like james gunn kind of like had an idea of like who's a, a character who could play like this <laughs> weird you know like soldier or something um in this thing uh so i think it's possible he'll go uh it's it's weird to think that you get introduced to characters and they're just gonna go like that uh and i like it though it's kind of like a almost like a guessing game as you're watching the movie you know mm-hmm that's oh, true. is this the moment? And they're probably a bunch of close calls where they'll almost die. And then mm-hmm. they'll be like, ah, oh, yeah. Uh, and then they'll finally get you. Something that occurred to me, we talked about Starro was in this trailer. Starro is the, the first villain of the Justice League. So that's a pretty big comic uh, Easter egg right there. Yeah. But also what is so interesting about Starro um, is when we look at the lineup here and who's um, in the cast, there is one name that stands out to me who I think is going to be playing Starro. I think it's going to be Taika Waititi who will be Starro. Oh, yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, because he usually does voice stuff anyways. So. Yeah. So that thing, and I would think like if he's like doing a one-off, like Starro gets defeated in this movie, like I what a better... Part. Hello, my name is Starro. I'm a joint sea star and you know, I'm here to take yeah. over the world. Like, I totally, I totally picture oh, yeah, him doing funny, so, funny. something like that because he's not King Shark. Uh, yeah. King Shark's played by Steve G, I believe, who is uh, one of James Gunn's friends. But uh, that was just something I I nearly forgotten about and wanted to address because I, I think uh, it's totally possible that he could be Starro. Uh, yeah. like, I mean... Who, who better than to, like, to make a joke out of a giant sea star? She hit me up now, mother <laughs> They got an impressive lineup, you know? Like, I I, I think it, he, cho- James Gunn is good about choosing his characters for this team up. Yeah. So, if they hit on this, that'll be big, coming off the backs of Snyder Cut, and then this mm-hmm. kind of makes up for what was kind of a disappointment in Wonder Woman 84. But yeah. it's, it'll be so... They'll come out of 2021, at least, being pretty happy with themselves, I feel like. They've got Mm. to be. The one thing I got to complain about, uh, and that this is not necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't really have to do with the movie itself. It just goes to show with, like, what they did, how they went about promoting this. And um, I'm sure you've seen, like, just as of last night, the the Snyder Cut tweet got 1.43 million tweets and retweets. so it was the hashtag Restore the Snyderverse we had a massive campaign for the last week ever since Ann Sar- Sarnoff was like, yeah, we're not going to do uh, any um, sequels to Zack Snyder's Justice League. So I feel like at the same time, this is cool that they, they understood like, yeah, people are hyped about DC, so let's release this. But it also kind of felt like, oh shit, we upset some people right now. Uh, let's release the Suicide Squad trailer to get, the, get their attention away from this. Yeah, um, so that's my only problem is that it, it feels like Zack Snyder's getting a lot of respect and love that he kind of deserves. He's got a fandom behind him that, you know, is trying to like back that, like, this is a great movie. Um, yeah. But also at the same time, it just it's a, it just feels a little demeaning 
to the success of the movie rather than um maybe it wouldn't be if if Anne Sarnoff just didn't say anything like if she just was like oh we're happy about the success you know and then like a couple weeks later said they weren't going to do anything with it but, yeah she want to put out fires fast it's actually the yeah. opposite <laughs> yeah if she just set fires if anything yeah. like so so that I I thought that was kind of ridiculous um but Regardless, uh, I, I think you could have both if you did a restore the Snyderverse kind of thing and you could did this because um, just because you want him to do Justice League 2 doesn't necessarily mean like you're striving away from anything uh, from your big plans. Uh, I mean, the only thing that I think they have in terms of big plans coming up is the Flash movie. Uh, because that has a lot to do with like maybe like dimensional travel or different Earths. Um, but if if anything, I think I have some friends who are like, why do we want to put hashtag restore the Snyderverse when Zack Snyder was like, I'm not really avid about doing another uh, superhero movie. Uh, but I think restore the Snyderverse doesn't necessarily mean, oh, make him direct Justice League 2. That could mean many things. That could mean make sure that the Snyder Cut is the definitive version of Justice League and yeah. that we get sequels based off of what that movie puts in place. Because you could still do a Flashpoint movie uh, in the timeline and, you know, make the Snyder Cut the definitive version. Uh, also, it demonstrated Barry's power so well that it makes you go, I see now how Barry would be able to have a Flashpoint kind of movie or, you know, like a dimensional travel, multiverse yeah. traveling film. Um, so I, that's, I think, if anything, what most fans want to be known is like, this is the definitive version of Justice League or it should be the definitive version. Um, and Zack Snyder could always come on as a producer for Justice League 2 if they wanted to. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean I think he needs to, but... Uh, I think it would be a good way to acknowledge it. Um, or even um, uh, a graphic novel, have this story continued as a graphic novel. I think There's that would be- There's something for us to consume to get some closure with the series, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially and, with those nightmare sequences we got there. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's one of those things where it's like, if you or I, you know, like, let's say, yeah, we're specifically like Snyder fans or something, at least it, it closes the story. Uh, so I, I would be down for a graphic novel. Um, I'm trying not to get my hopes up of like Snyder returning for another mm -hmm. sequel, but I am hoping that they understand the success and that they make yeah. the Snyder cut the definitive version. Cause that's bullshit that she said, they, that Warner brothers is saying, no, the, the actual Justice League, the definitive version of Justice League is the theatrical cut, the Whedon version. So yeah. I just think that's dumb. And I know I've gone on a Snyder Cut rant when we're trying to celebrate the Suicide Squad, but that kind of leads into like the whole air cut thing of the situation. Cause I, I told my friend Joe, when they said they weren't gonna do the air cut, uh, he was pretty bummed about that. But I was like, to be honest, that makes more sense to me uh than uh to not do an air cut than to go we're not restoring Zack Snyder's vision because you're basically trying to redeem yourself with this movie with James yeah. Gunn's Suicide Squad. So why release David Ayer's Suicide Squad and James Gunn's Suicide Squad on the same platform? It would just confuse people, I think. It'd also be they don't win in that situation. Cause let's say Oh, if the the Ayers cut is better than James Gunn's movie, then there's gonna be a lot of comparison because that's you know inevitable. Mm -hmm. Uh, we released two movies with pretty much the same name. They're gonna be comparison between two. So either Ayers outperforms Gunn's, and then one's like, oh wow, you guys put all this money into a new movie, you guys can get better than the original. Or Ayers cut falls short, and they're like, oh, well, this movie was bad anyways, and there's no reason why you should release the cut. So yeah, and and not to. Not to like shit on David Ayer or anything like that, but realistically, how different is his Suicide Squad movie uh, compared to Justice League? Just because um, it's like Zack Snyder's Justice League had a four hour runtime compared to the theatrical, and it had like half the movie reshot by Whedon. So it just makes me think, what what is 
what does this mean you know in terms of uh yeah. like how good is it is it truly worth it are we getting you know a definitive version with this i have no doubt we could one day see the air cut uh i just don't think it's anytime soon because if you're trying to capitalize the suicide squad with this movie why release there would be yeah. that's the one movie there would be three different versions of the theatrical cut from four years ago four or five years ago james gunn suicide squad and then the david ayer suicide squad like that would be just con so confusing you know yeah. like i i think that would be kind of weird to do that especially but, because people are confused right now with zack snyder's justice league and justice league and like what the hell is this yeah like not many people even understand what the snyder cut was imagine if they're gonna be like oh my god an air cut like uh and don't get me wrong that doesn't mean like i'm going don't release the air cut like full on like if we can if the fandom can do it and the fandom can voice that they want the air cut by all means do it but i'm just trying to give like a studio perspective that this is um this is different than justice league in that there was nothing really being continued with justice league whereas for there is a continuation of the suicide squad already in place so yeah um that's really all i have to say i i don't know this this was a really fun trailer though thank you for joining us this was one of our relatively shorter videos but we've got a lot of videos on the channel now so please check that out check out our podcast on anchor.com as well as on spotify and don't forget to go to patreon.com slash bros click the bell notification here on youtube if you want more be subscribed for further videos and further content and you can follow us on instagram and tiktok and twitter so check us out and we'll see you around next time yes